Hey, what's up, geeks? Duran here. If you're interested in learning React Native, there's a link in the description below to our Geek Mode membership. Also, if you're not already doing this, make sure that you follow us on Discord. You can reach out to me directly on Discord. There's also React Native giveaways and contests. So check that out as well. Now, the reason I'm even doing this video is because I think it's really relevant to the times today. Right now, America's going through this crazy economic change and the cost of everything is going up. Gas, food, housing, real estate, probably even more than that, most likely. And uh, I think that people need, like, they need to know what their options are. You know, so I'm gonna tell you how you can survive this next recession. And I'm telling you that from a software developer's perspective. Now, obviously the easy answer is don't be replaceable. You know, if you don't wanna lose your job, don't be replaceable. But you know, what, what's the likelihood of us not being replaceable? I'm replaceable. Anybody is replaceable. But you wanna minimize the probability of you being replaceable. And that's by having a specialized skill. Anybody can be a janitor. Anybody can work for McDonald's. Anybody can sweep floors, etc. But not everybody can be a software developer. Excuse me, I'll scratch that. Every, anybody can be a software developer, but not everybody is willing to put the time in to become a software developer. Now, as I stated, everybody's replaceable, but the thing is, is when you're a software developer, because you have these specialized skills and there's a high demand for you, there's not, there's not gonna be a lot of people who are gonna step in, that, that are gonna compete with you. And then also you gotta keep in mind that companies, they don't wanna keep hiring new developers because they have to teach the new developers how their code works, and they also have to teach them the business model. It's going to be hard for you to code if you don't understand the business model. So a lot of companies, they don't want to go through that headache. So as a developer, it helps you become a lot more irreplaceable. And that's why I offer courses. There's other people on YouTube offering courses. There's books. There's a lot of different options that people have today that I didn't have when I was learning how to code. I had to teach myself everything from scratch. And this is coming from somebody that didn't have a technical background. So I had a major headache. I wanted to give up at times. I was kind of like, you know, whatever, you know, I'm, some words I don't want to say on YouTube, basically. But um, basically, you want to be irreplaceable, you know. And also, let's say that you, it just so happens you are fired. They let you off. And that's a bummer. You know, I've been there. I've, I've worked for companies that I loved. I was excited to be there. And then for whatever reason, I was let go. You know, sometimes you don't even get an explanation, especially if you're a contract developer. They, I don't want to say treat you like crap because they pay you well, but they they treat you less than a salaried employee. And that's the con of doing that. And I've worked for some companies, like I said, that I was enjoyed, I was happy I was there. And all of a sudden, come to work one day, somebody doesn't like you for whatever reason, they let you go. That's the cold reality of life. But as a software developer, it's easy to find work. It's, it's, I promise you, it's so easy to find work today. You can work in America, you can work in Canada, you can work in uh, Great Britain, you can work in the Netherlands, you can work anywhere. And that's the beauty of it. And then also on top of that, if there is a recession and the company in America does go to shit, you can easily relocate to another country, move there and still work as a developer. So it just, it gives you a lot of flexibility. So what I would say is, is that if, if you're, if you're looking for work, I would say even as a developer, when you are, when you have a job, you should always be entertaining different companies, having, having multiple interviews, just so you can stay on top of your game. You can see what opportunities are out there because right now America is going through this big landslide and things are only going to get uglier in this next year, maybe even like the next five years to a decade. That's what people are saying, who knows? But I would definitely be prepared for that. And the last thing I wanna talk about is savings. Now everybody knows what savings is about. I've heard about savings when I was a kid, putting change in your, your piggy bank. But savings can save your life. You know, for me, I mentioned this in an earlier video, but for me, I have in my savings account, I have well over 50K in my savings account. And the only reason I saved up that amount of money, cause it was a, I was working for a company one time where they didn't pay me for two months. I couldn't pay my rent for two months. And really it's because I was spending the money that I was getting. Every time I got a paycheck, I was buying amazing things, I was buying nice clothes, nice shoes. And once that happened to me, 
and I couldn't pay my bills and I was like, man, I had to go to family members to get some help. I told myself never again. And I worked, I started working extra time, multiple jobs, and I saved up enough money that I could, I could not work. I mean, I could not work and pay my rent for a few years. And that's where I want you guys to be. I want you to save your money because you, especially in this day and age, you don't know what's going to happen. Life, life could come, life happens and you know, you can be stuck in any kind of situation. So the more money you have in your bank account, not only does it help you survive some kind of emergency, it also helps you become more confident. A lot of people are afraid to lose their jobs or they put up with all kinds of shit on the job because they're afraid that they're like, oh, well, I have too many people depending on me. I have a kid, I have a wife, I have all this going on. I have a high mortgage, etc." They put them, people put themselves in these like these, these corners and companies, they just love to put you in those corners. People like to control people in a company. Sometimes, sometimes people will mess with you, even if it's not even work related, you know, and then you're at work and you're afraid to say something. You're afraid to stand up for yourself because you're like, oh man, I don't want to lose this position. But when you have that extra money in your account, you're a lot more bolder. You're a lot more confident. You set your boundaries. And that's the only way you're ever going to be free is that you're going to need income and you're going to need some level of, I want to say, just, you just need to be more confident, walk with a certain air about you. It's going to make you, help you live a better life and it's going to affect everything around you. So definitely save up your money for this recession. And if you're not a professional software developer, I would strongly advise you to check, look into it because it, it takes time. But I think having a React Native community goes a long way. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I have a Discord channel. I'm bringing in a lot of the React Native developers from around the world. It's an easy place where you can network, you can reach out to help, you can reach out to me directly. And I'm putting together this React Native community so that it can help speed up your React Native journey. You don't need to go to a boot camp. You know, all you need is the patience. You can get a book from anywhere you want, build an application, come into the chat, and just, and just conversate with other people within that community. And I'm sure that they can help you. And also, as also as I mentioned, I have a membership, Geek Mode membership, that teaches you React Native. So if that sounds good to you, definitely check that out. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you the next time. Peace.